One of the main diseases affecting people are the uh, dysfunction of the corneal endothelium, which is a layer of cells that is inside the cornea itself. And what these cells do is uh, pump water out of the cornea to maintain it in a thin and transparent state. However, due to disease and trauma, can lead to the uh, reduction in the number of these cells and can lead to the swelling and thickening and cloudiness of the cornea leading to vision loss. But the current method of treatment requires the transplantation of uh, donor corneas. However, there are various uh, risks and issues associated with the use of donor corneas, such as the handling process from the harvesting to the transplantation of the cornea, and there's potentially risks of uh, disease transmission and uh, tissue rejection as well. So our aim is to regrow these corneal endothelial cells on our synthetic film, which is actually thinner than the human hair, and is completely transparent when implanted, and be able to regrow these cells on our film and implant them using the conventional surgical methods that are available to restore the vision. So in collaboration with the Centre for Eye Research Australia, uh, our uh, cell biologists are able to regrow these cells uh, using uh, various media uh, and conditions on our synthetic films. And our films, uh, which are completely synthetic, are still able to allow the attachment of these cells in a single layer on the surface of these films, and then we can easily transplant them uh, back into the uh, cornea. Our ultimate aim is to actually use patients' own cells to regenerate and implant, hence eliminating the risk of uh, disease transmission and the risk of tissue rejection. Our animal studies have been very promising and one of the re we've actually used sheep for our animal studies and one of the reasons we've used sheep is just like in humans these cells don't actually naturally regenerate once their numbers are reduced over time so we wanted to keep as close a model to the human as uh, possible and s since our studies with the uh, sheep have actually shown uh, promise we hope that we should be able to see similar results with our human studies as well